Now, despite the chilly weather, this is the week that beef farmers traditionally turn their animals out for spring, moving them from their winter sheds into the fields. It's also British Beef Week here in the Midlands. We eat around 41 thousand tons each year and as our rural affairs correspondent David Gregory Kumar found out there's a lot more to beef than a steak. A small herd of traditional Herefordshire cattle and they've been enjoying their warm dry shed all through the winter but now they can smell the spring grass and they want at it. They really do kick up their heels in joy as they see the spring pasture. And why did they look so happy when they were coming out just now? <laughs> because they could smell the grass growing and they know that means they're going to get to eat some fresh grass. Having eaten hay all winter, the idea of having some fresh grass is very exciting to them. The beef these animals produce sells out months in advance and there's a growing market for this high quality beef, but also for more unusual beef as well. So it looks black, I mean, is that all right? Yes, absolutely. As long as it's got that lovely bark on it, it's perfectly good. It'll keep for months. Alternative Meats started out selling ostrich, but these days they also see a market for a more unusual take on traditional beef as well. At their butchery near Whitchurch, they showed me Wagyu and Rosé Veal. It's getting more and more popular. Mm. Um, it was unusual to start off with and everyone just thought it was just a little bit too different. But now it seems to be on the market more and, and more available. And people want it. Yeah. yeah. We have got a customer who just spent £945 on two pieces of meat. They're large pieces of meat, <laughs> but they have cost a lot because he's asked specifically for them to be aged for such a long time. And we've got veal steaks going into Italian restaurants for £3.50 a, a throw. Even for a product as traditional as beef, there are clearly opportunities. It's not just about the meat, it's about the story that goes with it. Here at Smiling Tree Farm, we grow special fields of herbs to feed the cows, which helps to keep them healthy naturally. So there's no antibiotics used, you get a really healthy cow, and then the meat itself, the beef, is also very healthy. And good tasting. Oh, fantastic flavour. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a pretty frantic few years for our farmers, what with the general election and then Brexit. But it seems in these uncertain times, one way to make your business work is to focus on innovation and what your customers want. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today in the South Shropshire Hills.